Hey guys, how's it going today? Welcome back to Color Correction and Final Cut Pro. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to manually match color between two different clips. If you haven't seen parts 1 through 8, I'll include the link for a complete playlist in the description. And make sure to check out the rest of my channel, lots of great Final Cut Pro tutorials there. Down in my timeline, I have two clips, shot in the same location, but clearly look different. These two clips were shot with two different cameras, or the same camera with different settings. If I move the playhead between these shots, you can see a big difference in the waveforms. To match these shots, seeing them side by side would be really helpful. For that we can use Final Cut Pro's Event Viewer. I'll open the Events Browser, and with my playhead over the first shot, I'll press Shift F. Pressing Shift F will reveal this event in the browser. Now from the Window menu, I'll select Show on Workspace, and select Event Viewer. You have to keep the library open to keep the event viewer open, but to make a little bit more space, I can close the library list by clicking this button here, and resize the events browser as small as it goes. I can't use the keyboard shortcut to bring up video scopes in the event viewer, so I'll have to select it manually by selecting View, and Show Video Scopes. I'll also choose Vertical Layout, and the Luma Waveform for both viewers to adjust exposure. I'll try and match up my waveforms as close as I can. I'll start by dropping the shadows back, bringing up the highlights, and bumping up the midtones just a bit. Next I'll switch over to color and use the RGB Parade waveform. I'll take away a little bit of blue from the shadows, add a little bit of blue to highlights, and add a bit of red to the midtones. And lastly, let's take a look at color saturation of these two shots. And this time, to help adjust saturation, I'm going to switch over to the chroma, or the color waveform. Looking at this waveform, you can see a lot more midtone saturation in the left image. I'll grab the midtones pack and drag it up some, until these waveforms look closer to being the same. Right about there. I'll go back to the inspector and toggle this effect off and on. Much better. Let's quickly take a look at two more shots I need to match up. I'll park my playhead over my first clip and press Shift F to show it in the event browser. But as you can see, the clip in the event viewer looks very different from the same clip in the timeline. That's because this clip has been color corrected. When you color correct clips in your timeline, that's the only place anything changes. Your clip in the event browser stays the same. So if you need to color match a color corrected clip, you have to color correct it in the browser. Right click on the clip in the browser and select Open Clip. Final Cut Pro opens your clip in a separate timeline where you can color correct it like we did previously. Once done, click the back button. Now the clip in the event viewer is color corrected and I can use it for color matching my following clips. If you enjoy my tutorials, please like, comment and subscribe. New videos release weekly. Also, if you have a minute, check out my new website, lptguy.com. I will link it in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.